Hey everybody, so I'm back already with another planner video. Yeah! Um, this is going to be kind of random. I want to show you how my planner stuff is organized, so that's kind of the main topic of this one. But I want to show you a couple other new goodies too. Um, hopefully I'll remember to mention them in my next planning video as well for people who don't watch this one. But so hubby wanted to go to staples the other night and i never pass up a chance to go to staples because staples has the arc system which is interchangeable with the happy planner system if you have the large size it does suck that the smaller sizes do not match they're really missing out there because um, a lot of happy planner people would buy their stuff if if the smaller sizes matched up as well but since i have the large happy planner it does work for me and um he needed to get some stuff because he's going to be making a couple other notebooks and I came across this beautiful cover that I just had to get for my planner so previously um, I had this cover on my planner which is what it came with and it's it's just not I mean it's pretty I like the gold I like the color but it's not me it's just the only one they had when I bought this and then um, happy planner has come out with snap-on covers similar to this one and then like binder style covers that snap closed and I've looked at them but none of them is exactly for me and I really like this cover because it's kind of a combination of the two it's a snap-in but it still has um, kind of like a portfolio interior so I could put some stuff here in this pocket and it also has the pen loop which is really nice for me and this is what it looks like is it not beautiful <laughs> I absolutely love it um, it came with black rings It actually this was the notebook um, I just switched out the covers so it had come with the black rings and I'm not sure if I like the gold with the black but I love the gold with the cream so I might end up spray painting this part gold which was my BFF's idea so we'll see but I love this cover I think it is so classy and beautiful um, and it's really sturdy so I feel like my planner is a lot more protected now um, I know that the planner my hubby's giving me for Christmas I absolutely love the cover on so I might leave it on um, so when I open it it's there or use it as a divider but I love this cover so hopefully you guys like it too <laughs> I think it's beautiful um, and then I want to show you my next coming week. I just did my planning yesterday for next week. A little early because we have so much going on. Usually on Sunday I do my planning for the following week. Um, but this is about to be the busiest week of my life. Like seriously. Um, if you are curious you can watch my last stitching video and hear all about it. But I started planning and decorating for next week. And it includes Thanksgiving, of course, and the Gilmore Girls Revival show, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then lots of appointments and to-do stuff. The kids are coming into town. We have lots of doctor appointments and my egg retrieval procedure. Um, but check out the gold shiny washi and shiny gold polka dot washi. I am in love with all of this stuff. So there's my week. Pretty excited about it. So that's mostly what I wanted to show you for now in the planner. And then I want to show you guys how my planner stuff is organized. Um, I have this same bag in gray, and that's where stuff used to be. Ugh. Sorry, it's like stuck on the table. There we go. So here's my planner bag. <laughs> I'm trying to like think about getting a good thumbnail for the video. So here's my planner bag. All right, and um, I have it in gray as well, and I liked the bag so much that I decided I wanted to use one as my computer bag too. So I bought the pink one online from scrapbook.com. It is by We Are Memory Keepers. That's R, just the letter R. We Are Memory Keepers. And um, I found it on scrapbook.com and maybe other places as well. And it's their crafty, crafter's shoulder tote and um, it makes a great laptop bag too let me tell you and um, I don't know I might pull it out if you guys are curious but it is working fabulously so um, in the front I will just show you it's not super organized in here yet I just kind of threw this stuff in here but I've got an extra pen bag and this one is full of little goodies like 
bookmarks and extra planner rings. So I threw those in the front, um, but it does have like pen, um, pen pockets and other little pockets that you could use if you have smaller stuff. But this fits in here just fine. There's also another zipper right here. This thing has got a lot of storage areas. And um, it's, so it's, it's made for scrapbooking, but it works great for this too. And if you know scrapbooking, a lot of scrapbookers have like little rolling suitcase bags. They make that to match this. So if you're not like me and you don't live in an RV and you have more room, you could get the whole set and get the roller tote and have this bag. And what's nice is on the back, so this is a zipper pocket here. You could kind of use it as a pocket, but if you unzip the bottom as well, and you don't use it as a pocket, then your um, handle of your rolly bag would go through here and it would sit right on top of the rolly bag. So great for travel and also great if you have both bags and you wanna use both. So now let me open it for you. Um, one thing I will say that's kind of tricky about this bag is it, it opens all the way up to lay flat, which is great when you want to get everything out. But if you want to just like dig in it, you have to be careful and not bring the zipper all the way down so you can kind of open it without everything going crazy. So I open it all the way up like so to get to everything. And I think this part might be better if I show you like standing over it, but we'll see. I'm going to kind of experiment with this and see. Um, this is my sticker book I made with some extra rings, an extra cover, and extra pocket folders. And I've shown this in previous videos, but I'll just kind of show you again really quickly. That's where I have a bunch of stickers. So this is my little sticker book. It goes great with the bag, by the way. Um, this is my other new item from uh, Happy Planner, Create 365. They make this bag. It's called a pen case. Um, I do have pens in here. And they're not super organized right now because I was in the middle of a project and I left out the colors I was using. So normally I have them all in the loops, but I have a bunch just laying in the bag right now. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to switch views here and show you looking down. I think you'll be able to see this better. So here we go. Okay, so here is the pen bag. It's really hard with the iPad because um, I'm standing super far away from this, but you're really zoomed in. So let's see if I can do this. It has a pocket in the front, which this is a thing of post-its I stuck in there. And I think it has 24 pen loops, which I had them all full. And here's all my extra pens that I had out for a project. And then I also have room in here for my four sticker books from Happy Planner. And I've got whiteout and these are the little notepads that you can use in your planner and then some sticky notes here so i've used it for a bunch of things i really like this um, i just don't like that it you know doesn't really hold all of my pens so i feel like i would need one for all pens so i could keep them all in one place and then maybe one for the stickers and stuff but then it's like this is so clearly made for the pens that what would I do with it? So that's kind of my little thing now. If you're sort of an organizational freak like me, you might understand why that's difficult. Well, I'm just going to have to put this aside because I'm seriously so far away to show this to you that I can't do that with one hand. So I'm going to lift this up as much as I can so you can see the inside of the bag. And it comes with this paper divider. But this comes out, you guys. It is snapped in. You see that? So you can completely remove this, but not with one hand. All right, I'm not gonna try to do that. So you can completely remove it and take it out. I will show you um, with a separate take so I can use both hands. Um, and then this is my favorite part, is all of these elasticized netted pockets. So I have extra sticky notes, a couple extra washies because my two washi containers are full. Um, this is like post-it tape that you can write on, which is awesome stuff. And then I've got my, my famous punch that everybody is coveting, my arc punch, my flat arc punch from Staples. I'm sorry so many of you can't find it, but I swear they sell it there. <laughs> um, and then I've got my washi. Sorry, it's like really hard. There's like no depth perception to this. 
Um, these are little ribbon containers that I bought at Hobby Lobby. They go to a bag that holds six of these. That's why they have Velcro on them. I do not have the bag. I do hope to get the bag. Um, but for now, I only have two. These are three bucks a piece if you buy them on their own. And I keep all my washi. They fit perfectly in there and zip closed. And then I keep the two of them in that pocket and it fits just perfect. And I keep my punch in that pocket as well. Pretty sure I had something here. Not sure what it was or where it went, but anywho, that is how I organized the bag. Now let me show you um, how this paper thing comes out. Okay, those are some serious snaps, guys. They are no joke, but as you can see, this is completely removable from the bag, which gives you a bunch more room if you don't need that piece. Um, and so I initially took it out, and, and I kept a bunch of extra planner stuff in it, and right now I have it in there but if I want to fit my big planner in here as well then I can just take this out um, and this has like extra dividers and little zipper pockets and extra paper for my planner um, extra calendar pages that I'm not currently using extra tab dividers so on and so forth so I keep a lot of good stuff in there and this bag is just working great. Now I'm going to put it back together and kind of show you from the top how it was organized when I first opened it. Okay, so looking at it from the top, here's our side with the pockets, our paper side in the back. I've got my pen case here, my sticker book, and then we've also got the notebook that this cover came as a notebook with paper in it. This is all the extra paper from that notebook. So I've got extra paper there as well, but I can take this out and put it in here if I want. And this zips closed very nicely, but I can't also fit my planner. However, usually my planner goes in my computer bag, so that's not an issue for me. But if I wanted to just take my planner stuff, um, then I have got two choices. I can either take this out if I don't think I'll need it and stick my planner in here, or I can put my planner in the back. I'll show you that. There you go, not perfect, but doable. Just make sure your zipper at the bottom is not open, the one that's for the suitcase. And you can just shove your planner in the back pocket like so, if you have to, so I love it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my planner goodies are organized. I don't have a ton since I live in an RV and I have to keep it kind of small. To me, this is already like a lot <laughs> and I'm like what am I gonna do with this ribbon bag for my washi if I buy it so um, I you know who knows I might end up having to buy the little rolly bag someday but I love my planner it's like my little creative outlet I used to scrapbook I used to do all those things and now I've got my planner and besides being fun to decorate it is perfect for keeping track of my life so I just love it hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know what other kinds of planner videos you're interested in seeing. I do plan to do one on the level 10 life goals that are in my planner. Um, I don't know if you guys want to like see me plan and decorate. I don't know how I would film that for sure. So, But whatever you guys are interested in seeing about the planner, let me know. Otherwise, I will be back soon with more stitching videos and more planning videos whenever I can. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!